So, another rough start uh, for Marcus Stroman leads to a 6-4 loss to the Texas Rangers. And the Jays have now lost 6 of 8 and are now 14-11 and on the year. It didn't start out well at all for, for Marcus Stroman in the ball game. I mean, he had a really rough first inning. Uh, for it, it starts off with a Delano DeShields infield single. Chopper to, to Diaz, but I mean, that's a tough play to make, plus a speedy DeShields. He's making that. Then on a full count, Sinsu Chu walks, two on, nobody out. Profar uh, grounds out, uh, but both guys move up on the play. Mazzara singles, both guys come home to score. It's 2 nothing. Next batter, Joey Gallo on a 1-0 pitch on the outer half of the plate. He crushes it the other way. Two-run shot, 4 nothing, like that. But I had this feeling... This Jays team, as much as their offense hasn't been huge as of late, I had a feeling they'd break out today. And they did. You know, the Jays uh, uh, get a, an RBI single from uh, Justin Smoke, a greasy bloop single from Justin Smoke to right field, scoring Teoscar Hernandez, making it a 4-1 game in the bottom of the first inning. We move to the bottom of the second inning. Steve Pierce up with uh, Russell Martin and Jonathan Diaz. Or, wow, that name still is in my head. I led Miss Diaz. Uh, both come in to score on the Steve Pierce double. It's a 4-3 game. And Steve Pierce gets the third on the uh, on the error throw home uh, by Profar. So, uh, hey, great stuff there, but he can't come home to score. Bottom of the third, Kevin Pillar triples to left field off a really bad read from Joey Gallo. It's a base hit, but it bounces over his head. Salarte comes all the way around to score. We're tied, and Pillar's at third. With uh, nobody out right now. I think it was nobody out or one out. And he still can't get it. He, st- he can't come home to score. But we're tied at four. You go to the sixth inning. Marcus Stroman up until this point has done a very good job other than the first inning. But then he loses it again. You know, and then Guzman singles, two runs score. And he it's a six you know, it's a six four Texas Ranger lead. And he gets pulled. And nothing else happens the rest of the way. Marcus Stroman, guys, now is an 8.88 ERA. That is not good at all. An 0-3 record. He has been mediocre at best. I mean, like, he's had his very good innings. He did that in the, in his last start against the Yankees. He had a very good few innings. But then in the one or two innings where he faltered, he really messed up. The first inning and the sixth inning. Those two innings were awful. In between the second, third, fourth, and fifth. He didn't do a bad job at all. But his stat line, five and a third, eight hits, six runs, one walk, four strikeouts. He's missing his spots. Not like he's walking anybody. He only walked one guy today. But he's missing his spots. You can clearly see it. Martin's setting up inside and he's he's going away with it. Or it's hanging over the middle of the plate. It's just not really... He doesn't look as confident as we're used to seeing from Marcus Stroman. Uh, Tyler Clipper came out, got out of Marcus Stroman's mess there in the sixth. Uh, Aaron Loop with a clean inning. John Axford with two clean innings. and uh, But the Jays offense can't get anything going in the latter half. And uh, like I said, lose 6-4. If you're trying to find positives, bullpen continues to be good. The Jays get 10 hits. No errors. That's a positive, I guess. But nonetheless, they've lost six of eight, and they've lost the opener in their in uh, you know two of their last three series. But they've lost two series in a row. The Jays have to win their next two to win this series against the Texas Rangers. And you know what, guys? This Rangers lineup is depleted to all heck. There's no way that this team should be lo- be- beating the Blue Jays. Beltre's out. Andrus is out. Odor is out. You know, three of their three of their uh, you know their whole infield, their third, second, and short stop. That's like us not having Donaldson, Tulo, and Travis, which <laughs> we don't have two of those guys. But they don't have their whole side of the infield except for their first baseman. But even he's a new guy. You know, and they and they beat us today. Now they're gonna win. They're gonna win games. The Jays are gonna lose games. But the fact that the Jays have now lost six of eight. And uh, really haven't been playing the greatest ball as of late. They've they've lost three in a row now. They're losing these tight games, and that's what they weren't doing earlier in the year, right? We've lost two run one games, two one run games to Boston, obviously in the last series, and then a two run loss today. Um, look, 
The Jays got to find a way to get back in the win column tomorrow. Jaime G- Garcia versus Big Sexy. Bartolo Colon on the mound for the Texas Rangers. He's had a great start to his year. Not, not a 0-0 zero zero record, but a 2.59 uh, earned run average. He's been spectacular for the Rangers. And I will be at that game, actually, to give away day and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to be going out with my family and my girlfriend. That's going to be a lot of fun. If you guys are going down, hey, I'll meet up with you. Gotta, you know, have a talk, all that great stuff. Let me know in the comments if you guys are going down. Maybe DM me on Twitter if you guys are heading down. I know a couple guys that are going. So uh, that'll that'll be a lot of fun. Um, but I really do appreciate all your guys' support through all this. But the Jays... They gotta get back. They gotta get back in the wind column. They gotta get trucking again. A lot of guys have been struggling at the plate. Guys like Salarte, you know, he was one for four today. Great to see him do that. Justin Smoke was four for four. Great to see him get out of, the, out of that little slump that he or it wasn't a little slump. It was a pretty big slump. Um, but then you go. Kendrys Morales was zero for three. Travis was zero for three. Right. Uh, Devin Travis continues to struggle, hitting one forty eight. Morales one eighty two. Martin one forty. It's uh, the other than Curtis Granderson, who came in for one at bat late in the game, uh, they really haven't done a whole lot. And I think not having Josh Donaldson in the lineup, it really changes the dynamics of this team, right? So Larte's out there, okay, so what do you do? Who's your bench guy, right? It's not as good. With Donaldson out there, you can move Solarte around, put him in a different situation. It's better. And great news, Josh Donaldson apparently is going to be hitting... Or, in, in a game uh, for the Dunedin Blue Jays tomorrow. So his rehab starts. It's great to see. Hopefully he comes back up here and he is healthy and ready to go. That's what we all hope for. But for this team, no matter what, they've got to get him back in the win column. And tomorrow, uh, I guess er, late afternoon, early evening, uh, is a must. they got to get back in the win column tomorrow. 407 first pitch tomorrow. Uh, all right, so you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. You guys enjoy this video. And, uh, hey, if you guys know they're struggling, like we, we know they're struggling, hit that like button. I do appreciate that. Hit the subscribe button if you guys have not already. Comment down below. What did you guys think of the video? What did you guys think of the game? Where did the Jays go wrong? What did Marcus Stroman do? Uh, what's going on with Stro Show? Well, I want to hear what you guys have to say about, about that. What is your opinion on how he's doing and, and what the problem is? And uh, we'll talk to you guys Thursday, podcast edition. Link is in the description for the podcast channel and for the podcast itself on iTunes. Uh, also, like I said, Twitter is down in the description, guys. Go check that out. DM me, all that great stuff on there. And uh, we'll talk to you guys, Raptors edition, whenever the we figure out when the series uh, starts between either Cleveland or Indiana. We'll be getting you guys out the uh, round two preview video, all right? And for the Leafs, again, I might be getting it out once there's like uh, an off day, right? If there's an off day for every team, the Leafs, or for the Raptors and the Blue Jays, I'll probably slot one in there somewhere just to kind of keep the content flowing to you guys. Uh, and we'll talk to you guys, Blue Jays edition. Uh, tomorrow uh, tomorrow night, it'll probably be tomorrow night because I will be at the game, so it'll be a little bit later of an upload. Uh, it's a 407 first pitch at the, uh, at the Rogers Center. The Jays look to even up this series at one apiece. Bartolo Colon, big sexy on the mound for the Rangers. Jaime Garcia on the mound for the Blue Jays. Like I said, 407 first pitch. We'll talk to you guys then.